I have to admit I got sucked in by some of the reels that you see out there of these airbags lifting a lot of different pieces of equipment. I thought, man, that's going to be cool. Slide it under. It's super quick, easy, not very safe. I don't know if you've ever been around an airbag that's exploded. Definitely don't want to get a torch out with this. You're not going to use a cutting wheel. You don't want anything that could fly and hit this. And you also have to use jack stands. But what I didn't expect is that we were going to hold this together with aquarium type tubing. Yes, that tubing runs from the airbag through this handle past a couple bolts up into the top where it's run by ball valves, quarter turn ball valves for the on and off. Thank God there is a safety on here. And when that goes off, that'll scare you. Get it. While this jack did the work, we definitely did a little bit of damage to it. But is it something that you want for your shop for light duty work that might be really quick and easy to use? Let's check it out. When you get this jack, it's in a box in basically three main pieces. You have the jack in two pieces of the arms. You take the tube, shove it up the uh, arm holes in and out, then connect it up to the top. And that allows you to get to the point where you're using quarter turn ball valves to raise and lower this thing. And it, it seems sketchy when you put it together and you don't feel like the $200 you spent was really all worth it and it's definitely probably not unless you come up with a, a really great use for this my thought was simple things like side by sides if you're just checking a ball joint or something where you can just move this around quickly put something up in the air let it down nothing where you're going to work underneath it remember this is a airbag and although it does have something inside of it to stop it from moving around side to side when you lift things up it is um, not stable. It moves side to side quite a bit and it will move around and if something happened to the air hose or heaven forbid this aquarium hose that's holding it together or anything this thing's coming crashing down on you so be safe don't use this for something it shouldn't be and that's the main problem I have with this. It's just definitely not safe, the way it's built or whatever it is. This unit here says it would lift 11,000 pounds, starts at about five and three quarter inches, goes up to about 15 and a half. I thought that would be great. I wanted to put this guy to the test, so we put it underneath one of our semi trucks just to try to lift the front end off the ground. We went super, super slow because we're all scared. We've had airbags blow up before. None of us want that to happen. We're just seeing what's going to happen. It goes up, up, up. Finally, we get the front tire off the ground, which is awesome. And then, bam, the safety valve blows out, which is allowing the air to come out because obviously we had a little too much pressure in there. Must be the amount of weight. It's hard to judge what's actually going on when you're going that slow. Scared us both. Everything came back down. Everything's good. But. What ended up happening is there's a bolt that holds this rubber pad on the top and that bolt bent. So now you can see this rubber pad is kind of screwed up a little bit here and that bolt is not going to survive. And that's probably the main problem with how this all goes. We have this rubber pad here and this bolt, single bolt that holds it down is going to bend almost no matter what it is. Even if you're just lifting a truck up in the air, that center bolt is not enough. And this pad needs to be huge. It needs to be the size of this whole top plate. I get that they want you to lift in the center, but the pad needs to be larger and it's just a, a little bit of a design flaw. Probably easily fixable. We'll find out because I'm going to take this apart and kind of make it into my own now that I've seen it. The second thing that doesn't work overly well is going to be this handle. And it kind of slides in and out and you put it into different places. When you lift it up, it goes up on wheels. But the problem is to get it under something, you have to lift up so far and you can't. It needs to actually be almost negative or hold straight and then you could move it instead. It doesn't work real well. So if you're going to buy this and expect to get underneath things that are fairly precision, not going to happen. It, it's really too tall and 
This one actually had specs on it. There's multiple different weights of these that you can buy, and they all didn't have specs as to how low they went. Five inches seems like it's fairly low. It's not, because we struggled to get it underneath a lot of different things that we're trying to lift up, and it's probably a good thing we did. So if you're looking at something like this, I want you to think of the safety factor. It does have a cool factor, but there's a lot of weird things. And let's come in and just take a look at some of the weirdness. Here's the business end. There is the safety valve way under here. You see it on all air compressors. It's just something that will pull out or blow out if you get too much pressure. I have these ball valves pushed to the outside and you just pull them up and it raises the jack and then you push that back. There's kind of a screen here that'll lower it. You can, this comes with them pushed into the center, which then it's really hard to use them. So it just seems like you should run them on the outside. That is kind of awkward to use to a point because they're ball valves. So to, you know, you kind of just add a little air slowly up until the point where everything goes wrong. But I expected a little bit more. The second thing is this handle is just CNC'd out very thin. It is not comfortable. It's got sharp edges. If you're pulling it around, gloves are nice. Uh, it's just, there could be a lot more done here to make this comfortable. So we have this tube here that runs up against this bolt that holds this handle in and it doesn't get crushed completely, but it is definitely up against things. So eventually that's going to leak. So keep an eye out for any leaks there. That's going to be a major problem. This end, I mean, it's an airbag, but there's something in the middle that telescopes to probably keep it going. So if we raise it up and it goes up nice, but you can see there is a lot of movement. That's the max amount of movement, at least with my hands, but quite a bit of movement when this goes around and then when there's no weight on it, it goes down fairly slow. It does lift things up quick, but it gets up to the item and then needs to pressurize the airbag and then it will lift things up quite quickly from there and it'll almost jump in nice, but I always worry about having this airbag about three feet from you because that's about where it needs to be when you're on the handle. And if anything were to happen to this, that's going to be a huge blow. So make sure that you're wearing safety glasses and anything else that you need and be concerned that you're dealing with an airbag. They can, if they blow, they're going to scare the crap out of you. And if they hurt you is going to be a 50 50 there, but you'll never want to go through it again. So this dude's great to make your click clack videos. I mean, it looks cool. It looks cool doing things. Works fairly quick, goes up a long ways. Man, not safe. Not something you really want to dive into and just not have the safety equipment behind you and or know a little bit about airbags or what's happening in the inside. Like I said, there are safety valves here, but I don't trust that that's going to work long term. That gets some dirt in it, gummed up a little bit. Next thing you know, things aren't working well and you've overpressurized this and boom. I know I say that a lot, but there's a lot of weird sketchy things going on here, including that tubing. So while it did a lot of work, we bent some things up, shit happened. I wouldn't recommend you using this for heavy stuff. This is going to be a quick throw it under the truck, check a ball, uh, ball joint, throw it under a side by side, you know, move things around, just check things. I can see it. Is it worth $200 to do that? That's up to you. I'm super interested in hearing your comments on this guy. Leave them below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.